Ranch Boss here. I've had a lot of customers asking me and calling me about what they should bring in preparation for their hunt. It's on the frequently asked questions, which I highly encourage you to read, but I thought I'd do a little video on it to kind of help you out there. If you're flying, we will provide your bedding for you, but if you're driving, please bring your own bedding for a twin bed. Bring the rifle of your choice. We do require a minimum caliber of 243. We do not allow 223s, 17s, 22s. Please don't ask because the answer will be no. It doesn't change, all right? And there, the reason is those calibers below a 243 are just simply not big enough to kill any hog of a, a decent size. And we don't want you wounding the hogs. And, that, and in the past, Guys would promise me they wouldn't shoot the big hogs with the 223 or, or, or the, the other guns they wanted to bring for varmint hunting, but they can't help themselves when a big boar jumps out and they put a bullet in it and wound it, and then we find it two or three weeks later dying a slow, miserable death. That's not our goal. So 223 or bigger, you don't need a big, big gun. They're not restricted, but the ideal guns for hog hunting would be a 243, 270, 30, 30, um, 308, 4570, those are all good mid-sized guns, but if you, if all you have is a 7 millimeter or a, a 30 odd 6, bring it. That's all you got, bring it. What also is very effective is shotguns and slugs, and slugs are the only load that we allow for shotguns. And again, the reason we don't allow buckshot is because if you shoot at a pack of hogs, you're going to put two or three pellets in other hogs, and again, you're wounding hogs. We don't want to do that. We want to kill them, not wound them, all right? Archery is excellent for, for the hog hunting, so any type of archery would be good. In addition of things to bring, uh, bring your coolers to take your meat home. And one of the questions a lot of guys ask me, well, what size cooler should I bring? As a good rule of thumb, if you will bring 120 quarts per two hogs, so let me break that down, 60 quarts per hog that you plan on shooting is the size cooler space that you will need to bring. If you don't have enough cooler space and you end up shooting a three or four or 500 pound hog, Walmart's 12 miles down the road and you can go to town and buy one, all right? Now, if you're flying, keep in mind, you're not gonna be able to cost effectively fly that much meat home so uh, keep that in mind when you're out there hunting uh, it's very expensive to fly a lot of meat home so typically if you'll shoot say a 120 pound hog as a rule of thumb 40 percent of whatever you kill is solid meat so we can even debone it for you and put it in a smaller cooler uh, with the cooler weight uh, the meat weight, as long as it's under 50 pounds, there's no extra charges. But if you don't care about all that, take as much as you want to, but be prepared for a big bill because they, they're they very proud of their rates and they do charge you and they don't cut anybody any slack. So keep that in mind. Uh, other things to bring. Good, comfortable walking shoes. You don't need heavy-duty army boots. Uh, good, comfortable walking shoes is great. People ask me all the time, do I need snake leggings? We've never seen a rattlesnake on the ranch, and that would be your number one concern, would be a rattlesnake. Never seen one. We do have copper, uh, copper heads, water moccasin. They are poisonous, but we've never had anybody bit by a snake. That doesn't mean you won't be the first one. Legal uh, disclaimer here. But uh, I walk through the ranch all the time with tennis shoes on. In the summertime, when you can't even wear pants, I'll wear shorts and flip-flops, all right? But uh, anyway, I, get off on that tangent. So you don't need snake leggings. I don't require it, let's put it that way. All right, other things to bring. Um, cash is always good. Bring a little cash. You never know what you might want to get into when you're here at the ranch. We have all kinds of opportunities. So bring some cash. How much is up to you. Uh, we do require that the hog cleaning, your guide staff fee that we collect at check-in, all that has to be cash. Nothing personal, guys, but I have collected so many bad checks from guys all over the country. There's no recourse, so we just save all that drama now. Just bring cash. There's no questions about whether the check was good or not. Sorry to have to bring it up, but that's just the reality of business, all right? Um, other things to bring, a good attitude. 
bring that with you. It's real important to have a good attitude. Good attitude will get you through any situation, all right? You, you might be out of your comfort zone. Uh, the bed may not be as hard as you're used to. It may not be as soft as you're used to. Don't get a bad attitude about it. Maybe our toilet seats aren't warmed up like they are at home for you. I don't know, but keep a good attitude, all right? You're not coming to the Hilton. We do provide you a clean and comfortable facility, but it's not the Hilton and it's not your home, all right? It's not going to be as comfortable as what you're used to. We have very nice leather recliners in the lodge, but maybe they're not as comfortable as the one back at home. So keep a good attitude and you're always going to have a better time, all right? So these are a few things, things to bring with you on the hunt. Uh, you're going to need to bring 100 pounds of grain per person, either cracked corn. I don't want whole corn. It, it, it's not good for other animals on the ranch to get into it, to eat it. It can cause all kinds of health problems. Cracked corn only. Um, you can bring any kind of feed, such as horse feed, pig feed, cattle feed, doesn't matter. 100 pounds per person required because we do bait your spots for the, the day hunting and the night hunting. And 100 pounds per hunter will be sure that you don't run out of bait. And uh, But again, read the frequently asked questions and it will give you the full list of things that you need to bring. We'll talk to you soon. Also, people ask all the time, what type of hunting light should we bring for the night hunting? You don't need a killer spotlight, a gigantic spotlight. We're shooting typically under 50 yards at night. All you need is a couple of good flashlights, all right? And people also ask me what color lens should I have? A green lens or a red lens works fine. However, don't go spend a bunch of money buying a, a special lens. You can get a colored cellophane paper at your local art arts place, cut your piece off. You can rubber band it around the end of your light. That's all you need. Either red or green will do the trick.